Hello? I can't hear you, babe. Hello. Okay, I think it might be working now. Let's try. Okay. Um, Amelia, is your name? Yes. Where are you calling me from, baby? Oh, I'm from it might not be good. Amelia, where are you calling me from? I'm from, originally I'm from Humboldt, Tennessee, but I'm staying in the Jackson, Tennessee area. Okay, how old are you? I'm 37, just turned 37, June the 5th. I'm a Gemini also. They said they like your Juneteenth outfit. Thank you. You're a Gemini, you said? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any kids? Yes, I do. I have five. How old are your five kids? I have a 17, eight, a four, and a six months, and a six-year-old. Okay, and a six-year-old. I see the kids in the background. <laughs> How many men are they by? I have, well, I have two, but one is deceased. Okay, so two men. Have you ever been married? No. Why are you not with the six-month-old dad? Well, it's a long story. Uh, just don't want to take on his responsibilities. Uh, so I have to move on. Is he the father of more than one? Yes. Okay. So how many kids do you have by him? I have three. Three. And yeah. when did you realize he didn't want to take on his responsibilities? I I realized it, but I loved him, so I just thought maybe he would do better. Did you realize it before you had any of your three kids or after number one? No, it were? was probably it was probably after the second one, but I just wanted to, I don't like bringing different men around my kids. That was another thing. So I just wanted to try to make it work with my kids' father. Mm -hmm. And it just, it just didn't what work. What was your final straw? Uh, my final straw was when I got sick. Uh, I was in the hospital for three months with uh, heart problems. And I think that was the last straw for me. When he wasn't, when he couldn't be there for me, then there was there was the straw for me. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so is my saying right? Is it Amelia? Amelia, yes, ma'am. Amelia Jackson, Florida. Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, Jackson, Tennessee. Okay, thirty-seven, Gemini. What do you do for a living, baby? Um, I'm a hairstylist. I uh have a it's not all the way up, but Vivid Styles Creations by Amelia P. Uh, I braid. I do hair. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm not currently working at the moment because I'm disabled with my uh, my hospitalization was going on. But I'm hoping, well, I'm not going to say hope. God will deliver me from what's going on and I will get back to get back to working. But okay. I'm, so you um are you getting disability checks right now? I am. Okay. How long has this been going on? Uh I got sick in December. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And once you get better, you would like to go back to So what yeah, because what what I was doing, I was doing home health and hair, doing both. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So we got Amelia Jackson, Tennessee, 37 Gemini. She's a hairstylist, but currently on disability. Mom of five kids, by two men, and never married. Or was you married? Never married. Never married. Um, what kind of man are you looking for, baby? Um, I'm looking for someone that, that has his stuff together. Um, he has to have a car. He can have kids, have a place to stay. Because I got my stuff together, he needs to have his stuff together. Okay. Family-oriented, God-fearing. Now, I want, I want you to respond to this. What would you say to the man that's concerned that you have five kids, including a six-month-old baby? Uh, what you mean? Can you say that again? I said, what would you say to the man that's concerned that you have five children, in a, including a six-month-old baby? Um, 
I don't. They just have to accept me for for me and accept my kids too. That's it. Yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Oh, my deal breakers. Not having a job. Um, I don't want no man to come and move in with me. I done did that. Um, really the smoking, Stop. the drinking, the going Stop. out. Stop. I'm not, I don't really do that. Stop. Stop. Okay. I don't, I don't really do none of that. I'm a homebody really, but I do like to dress up and I do like to go out from time to time. Dates are important. Dates are important. So we have to be able to date you. Yes, you got to date me in order to keep me. We both need to date each other. Okay. Um, so you look a certain way. Um, I like chocolate men. <laughs> but not necessarily long as he's handsome. He don't even got to be handsome. You know, you can't judge a book by his cover no more. Um, so he can be big. I don't really have a type. I don't discriminate. Let me ask you a question. Is the expectation for a man to come in and provide for your children as well as you? Yeah, he would have to be able to provide, provide for us as a as a whole family whole. And I just don't want to date to just be dating. I'm I want to date to marry. I want to be respectful, but I want to ask you a question. Do you think that's a lot for a man to ask? I mean, do you think you're asking for a lot of a man? No. No. Mm -mm. How come you didn't expect your children's dads to provide? Or did they provide? Or marry you? Uh, I guess that's where I come in to say I'm holding it as an expectation because I guess you got to know what you want. Put your feet down, and once you want, I allow him to be too comfortable. And uh, it was my fault. It was my fault. But now you want a, a man to, and I understand this desire, but you have. But he kids. don't have to. He don't have to come in necessary taking care of my kids because I do that. I take care of my kids. I always have. Right. But, I know I asked you a question earlier. Now, this will be said, so I would like you to respond to this. Because you didn't, you wasn't married to either one of your children's dads, right? No. Were any of them providers? One of them, one was a provider. He okay. helped. He helped. And don't get me wrong, my second kid's father, he helped, but um, he came from a family-oriented family but he wanted a family he did he wanted a family bad but coming in and providing a man has to work saying about a man don't work that he don't eat so if i'm gonna work you need to work um coaching is is good but we need more you know another job to come in with the income. Um, he was a good coach, you know, but I needed some more, some more things, <laughs> some more. Don't depend on me for everything because I can wait on you to get yourself together, but don't, I, I just got too comfortable and he got too comfortable with, with the, every time I asked, like, when are you going to get a job? It was the response and Oh, I'm trying. And it just kept on being it. And I wasn't seeing no effort. I'm going to work. You need to go to work, too. Okay. But right now, in this moment, you're not working because you no. can't. Okay. No. So, okay. I have some paid questions. Do you want them? Yes. Okay. Jihan Day said, make it make sense. What man should come into this mess? Our black women got to do better. Y'all got the same song. Do work on yourself and respect yourself. That's true. I'm not going to be mad at that because it, it was it was my fault. I, I, missed, I know where I messed up at. And, you know, that's why I'm trying to correct it. So 
I don't know what he's saying. Make it make sense. It's not really a mess. I just have five kids. That's it. Okay. Well, I think the request is you have five kids and the expectation is you want a man to come and provide for you and your five children. And you have a six month old, a four year old, a six year old, an eight year old and a 17 year old. Well, like I said, I'm not on here to date just to be dating because I had a man that tried to date me and he want me to come outside. Like, I'm not doing it. This stuff teenagers do. What do you like mean I, come outside how? Like outside just, the house? Just come outside and sit and talk in a car. Like I'm 37. I'm not doing it. So if we're going to date or we're going to have an interest in talking or and better yet, I'm not. I don't even want a man to meet my kids. You're not even going to meet my kids until I know that it is, we in this for real, for real. You're not going to meet them. I don't even want them to see you. Like we, That's why I said we can date each other. We're going to go to the movies. We're going to go out to eat. We're going to do things, you know, to get to know each other. But you will not meet my kids until I feel like it's okay for you to meet them. If we're not going to have nothing, then you're not going to meet them. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that makes sense. You just shouldn't, your kids just shouldn't meet random men. So I no, think, and they I think not. everybody would agree with that. They what are not. your deal? Did I ask you your deal breakers? Yes. And I asked you, did he, should he look a certain way? Yes. Okay. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? No, he don't have to make no certain type of money. He just have to be able to provide for himself first. Because he has to be able to buy for himself. So he has to have a house. He has to have a car. A place a house to stay. Or can he live in an apartment or should he have a house? He can live in an apartment, just somewhere to live. He just needs somewhere to stay. Because he can't stay with me. Okay. Now, when y'all get serious, is it is the expectation he will pay all the bills? No. Oh. I, I, I don't. I don't go with that i'm a 50 50 type of person i always have been um it's just that you just gonna have to be able to be willing to do that to add to me okay. i always say i i've been toting i've been wearing a cape on my back the <laughs> superman or superwoman or whatever i'm ready to give my cape to somebody else okay and be okay. more feminine and if be more if that makes sense. I understand. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. I don't know where I should go. If you can see me. Here. Okay. okay. Yeah, and all right. We see you, girl. After <laughs> your thing. Yeah. Um, when was your last relationship, Amelia? Uh, my last relationship was uh four months ago. Four months ago, four or five months ago. Well, with with, with my kid's father. So y'all broke up one month after you had your baby. Uh, September. I had him September the fourteenth. Uh, it probably was in March that okay. we probably split up. March of this year. I came home. I yes, I came home in March. I stayed in the hospital for four oh, months. Oh, that's right. You said you were in the hospital. That's right. That's right. We remember. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh was when I had my, had my uh child. So it's been four or five months. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh three flaws. Uh I'm a procrastinator. I need to work on that. Um, I need to work on being quiet. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know what else I need to work on. Hmm. You don't, you only have two flaws? Being quiet. I'm a procrastinator. And... I would say one thing. I'm so independent that I, I've been independent. I, I need to start allowing someone to come in and be helpful. Okay. Just, just one curiosity. 
Um, because you're not working right now, and I understand you went through something, so that makes sense. You just had a baby six months ago. Why not wait a little bit more time to start dating? Um, uh, I could, but I I don't feel like I need to wait. I feel like I'm ready. You feel like you're ready. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I don't waste it. I wasted so much time. I don't feel like I need to waste any more any more time. Okay, well the last question is why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I know what I bring to the table. I'm a good catch. I know I know what I bring to the table. I know my worst. What do you bring to the table? I bring I'm a I'm a good person to be around. I can cook. I, I'm a I'm a good mother. Um, if I if he if they have kids, I'm gonna treat that their kids just like mine. Um, I'm financially stable. I mean, I'm I'm I really want to say I'm I'm okay right now. I'm okay right now. Okay, so, uh, so you don't mind if the guy has kids? No, I don't. And. Do you I'm, want more kids? I'm all about family. You're about family. family. Yes. Um, do you want more kids? No, I don't want no more. No more. All right. No more. So we got he, would, he would have to have kids already, or we can adopt. We can do that. Okay. We got some more questions for you. Coffee Killer said, Oh, you want a man to court you, mm -hmm. spend money on you. Why should the next man have and do more than the men that you have children with? Um, I don't even really feel like this. <laughs> That's a crazy question. <laughs> you don't understand this? The, these questions. I mean, why do? Why would it? Is why would you ask somebody that? I mean, if he had kids. I wouldn't even ask him that because well the, the difference in the dynamic is a couple of things he you don't have to wanna... spend hold on he don't have to spend money on me because i have my own i don't need a man to spend money on me i have my own money so if i want my own hair done i'm gonna get my hair done if i want my nails done i'm gonna get my nails done every my kids don't want for nothing okay. all five of them they ain't missing a beat I ain't missing a beat. But yes, I want a man to court me. I want a man to be able to do that. If we if I want to go on a date, he has to date me. So yes, he has to buy me something. I mean, it's not an obligation because for one thing, you can go to the park. That's for free. Walks in the park are free. It's just a simple mind of men that can't think. I mean, it doesn't take money. It doesn't take money to uh make a man uh make some make a date we can go to meet up at mcdonald's and just have coffee that's a dollar i would say this any man that's going to take you serious and interest in you yes i think that is a fair assessment he has to date you i think where the challenge is you said early on you wanted a provider so when you said you wanted a provider you know this is why i asked you that question men will say you want a man to provide for you and your five children. And then that is causing a lot of people to have questions with that request. But I think the more we talk, the more it seems like you're willing to financially contribute to the household. Yes. Um, but a man, but a man, I will say this, a man still does have to accept the fact that you have five children and you have young children too, a six month old, a four year old and a six year old. Those are pretty young ages. So that could be a lot for a man to accept. Maybe, but maybe you're, but I guess what you're saying is that wouldn't be the man for you. But I guess uh, right. to, a lot of people, to a lot of people, it's mind blowing that you don't understand how a man might think that's a lot. It probably, it, it, I'm not going to say that it's not a lot because maybe there was reason why the father couldn't, the father himself couldn't even do it because of the, the same reasons that you're saying but at the end of the day if you're a man 
you're supposed to be a head of the household. I'm just, I, I was put here to help to be an assistant. That's why I said I'm ready to take my cape off and hand it to somebody else. But, um, yes, you have to be a provider. I'm a provider myself already. I provide for my kids. They got a roof over their house. They had, I mean, I'm not asking you to come in and just take care of me and my kids, but add to me. Be able to add to me. I'm going to add to you. And okay. if you have a family, I'm going to add to your family. Uh, we got some more. Lord, Lord of Leon said, a man has to work, but you don't work. Right now. And I say I just stopped working like this year. And it's because of a sickness that I can't work. Like I had congestion, heart failure. I had um, some things going on. But that's the reason why I don't work. I'm drawing disability and I don't even want to draw it. I'm ready to go back to work. Okay. But until the doctor tells me that I can't work, then I'm just I just have to I just have to do I'm a hustler anyway. So I'm a I'm gonna make the money. I'm gonna do her. I'm gonna do whatever I have to do. L double I. L double I said, I'll take care of you and all your 10, 11 kids with your fine country self. Okay, come on, I see it. <laughs> well, honey, where is he at then? What do I need to do? L double I, she said, where are you at? What she got to do? Yes, yeah, because um, I'm country and I'm fine. I know that. <laughs> um, Coffee Killer said, how much does a man have to annually have for five kids of yours? Two grown people and maybe two kids of his. Do you know where this man works? What do you mean now? What he said, do you, have you thought about how much a man would have to make in order to support you and five kids, plus himself, and if he already had two kids? No, I never thought about that. I just it doesn't even matter. You just need to be able to work, work, and have money coming in yourself and be able to uh, support yourself and your habits. And really, now you don't even need to have no habits. I don't want no man that have habits. Drink, smoke, go out. I don't want none of that. Okay. All right, well, the time has come. Um, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? No. Okay, you got to download it. Let me see if your name is already taken. Okay. Oh, I didn't send this. Oh, oh man. Um, I ordered something from Mr. Car and I never pushed send. Amelia is Heist M I A. Let me see if this name is already taken. Okay. Well, your name is already taken, but it's not a lot of them. So you can keep your name if you want to. It's about seven people that come up with that name. Okay. Um, but I would put your full name and they'll be able to find you fast. Okay. Okay. So this is Amelia Jackson, Tennessee, 37. What's the age range you would date? Uh, my age range is about 39 to maybe 40. Should he be in Tennessee? Yes. You should be in Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Mom to five by two men. She's a hairstylist, but currently not working. Um, I guess we have another question for you right now. Um, Melissa said, she and every woman is allowed to change the requirements and expectations at any point in life. It's called growth, faking my head. Yep, I can totally agree with that. That's, that's it. She, she said it better. She said it better for me. Thank you. You said, thank you, Melissa. You said it better for her. All right. Make sure you go and download. Wait, is there a girl? They still got questions for you, child. <laughs> oh, they talking about something else. Okay. Um, okay. What does it say? I can be, I'm a sheriff here in Chicago. I'm looking for a part. Oh. Um, not looking for a little, but part-time. All right, let's finish. They talking about being my security guard, child. All right, back to you. Amelia, download the Kendra G Singles dating app and set up your profile, okay? Okay. All right, Thank bye, you baby. Thank you for having me. 
Bye, baby. Bye-bye. Kendra G Singles, the dating app, is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.